get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey, Falcons. Oh, man, we got some more fun stuff for you this week on making music with our Falcon friends. We've got a brand new song to sing. We've got some new activities to do with an old song. We've got something to listen to and a fun activity at the end. So you know what? Why are we talking? Let's just make some music, shall we? We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, third grade. we got a great song to start this week. It's a brand new one, and it's from right here in America. It's from a state to our north. Do you know a state to our north? We're in Pennsylvania, right? One state to our north. If you go straight up from Pennsylvania, you'll reach this state. Do you know what state I'm talking about? Maybe you've been to this state before. This state has a really big city. Maybe like the biggest city in the entire country. In fact, the city is named after the state. You know what I'm talking about? How about New York? New York's what we're talking about. This song comes from New York, and it comes from a very long time ago. In fact, it comes back from the year 18. 1812. Ooh, that's a long time ago. In fact, this song was sung during the War of 1812. Ever hear of the War of 1812? Well, have you ever heard of the 4th of July? Have you ever heard of the independence of our country? Maybe you're a little familiar with the War of 1812 because the War of 1812 was about the United States versus Great Britain. Round two. Right. Okay. This song has nothing to do with that, though. It just came from that time period, and it's called Hey, Betty Martin. Let me sing it for you. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe, fine. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey Betty Martin, please be mine. Jump with me, I'll jump with you. We'll go jumping the whole day through. Jump so fine, jump so fine. Jumping, jumping all the time. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe, fine. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey Betty Martin, please be mine. It's a nice long song. I'll sing it. I want you to echo back. Listen. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, fine. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, please be mine. Nice job. That is the first section of this song. It's going to come back a little bit later, so make sure you get it. Let's try it one more time. Listen. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe fine. Hey Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey Betty Martin, please be mine. That's the first section, okay? So don't forget it. Second section, listen. Jump with me, I'll jump with you. We'll go jumping the whole day through. Jump so fine, jump so fine. Jumping, jumping all the time. Second section. Okay, let's try that again. Listen. Jump with me, I'll jump with you. We'll go jumping the whole day through. Jump so fine, jump so fine. Jumping, jumping all the time. The last section. I already said, is this like the first section? So let's see if you remember how it goes. Sing it with me this time. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, fine. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, please be mine. Let's try the whole song together. See if you can sing it with me. Here we go. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, fine. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, please be mine. Jump with me, I'll jump with you. We'll go jumping the whole day through. Jump so fine, jump so fine. Jumping, jumping all the time. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, fine. Hey, Betty Martin, tiptoe, tiptoe. Hey, Betty Martin, please be mine. Nice job. Song from New York. Now it's a song right here in Pennsylvania. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Oh, sorry, third grade. Oh, my gosh. I, I know you're ready already. I just got a little hungry. I was having a little snack. I'm sorry. I just, I was, I'll tell you what really happened. I was thinking of a song we were singing last week, 
And it kind of made me hungry because in the song, well, someone gets to eat. Remember what it is? Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Then he caught the whooping cough. Remember our song from last week? Let's try it together. Sing it with me this time. So I don't have a mouthful. Ready? Here we go. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Then he caught the whooping cough. This time, sing it and keep that beat on your lap. Here we go. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Then he caught the whooping cough. Keep that beat? Great. This time, clap the words. Clap the rhythms. Let's do a quick review. Here we go. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Then he caught the whooping cough. Great. We had a picture last week. And here is that picture. Once again, we've got our horses. And we got our horseshoes there. Let's point to the horses first, right? Just for the first phrase. Watch. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Can you point to the horses along with me? Here we go. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Great. This time, a little bit trickier. Let's point to those horse shoes. There's a lot of them, so good luck. Here we go. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Try that again. Point on those horseshoes. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. This time, you get to pick. You can point to the horses or you can point to the horseshoes. I don't care. You pick. Ready? Here you go. Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Good. Whichever one you just pointed to, now point to the opposite. Okay? Here you go. Ready? Fed my horse in a poplar trough. Good. You know, this song has some really interesting rhythms in it. I want to talk about those rhythms for a second. Can we just focus on the first phrase? Let's just focus. Focus, guys. Focus with me on the first phrase. Ready? I have a question. How many beats do I keep in the first phrase. Keep a beat with me. Tell me how many beats are there in the first phrase. Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. Can you keep a beat along with me and sing? Lou, 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 Lou. How many beats do we just keep? Lou, 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 Lou. Four beats, right? Great. I have a question. Is there a beat? that has one sound on it. Can someone tell me a beat that has one sound? One of the beats has only one sound. Which beat has just one sound? Lou, 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 Lou. Is there one of those beats where we only sing one sound? Where we only sing one Lou? Can you figure it out? Lou, 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 Lou. Did you hear it? It's the last beat. The last beat only has one sound. Very good. Okay. Can someone tell me a beat that has two sounds? Can someone tell me a beat that has two sounds? Figure out one of the beats that has two sounds, right? Lou, 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 Lou. Well, we said the last beat's got one, so it can't be the last one. What's a beat that has two sounds? Can you figure it out? Lou, 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 Lou. Did you guess the first beat? If you did, you're correct. Did you guess the third beat? Well, if you guess the third beat, guess what? You're also correct because the first beat and the third beat both have two sounds. Very good. Now this leads us to our second beat. Our second beat is a little bit tricky, a little bit strange, a little bit weird because it doesn't have one sound, it doesn't have two sounds. How many sounds are on the second beat? Can you figure it out? Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. How many sounds were on that second beat? Lou, 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 Lou. Did you figure it out? Lou, Lou, Lou. How many sounds? Three. Now that's kind of weird. We don't usually have a rhythm with three sounds, but what's even stranger is this. There are three sounds, but they're not equal. They're not all the same. Some of them are long and some of them are short. Can you tell me which of the three sounds is long? Lou, Lou, Lou. One of those three sounds is long. Do you know which one? Lou, Lou, Lou. The first one. 
Okay, so if the first one is long, what about the last two? The last two aren't long. If they're not long, they are short. We have a brand new rhythm here. Long, short, short. Can you sing that? Long, short, short. Three sounds on one beat. Now, when we have two sounds on a beat, we're going to call that toddy. When we have one sound on a beat, we're just going to call that top. But this new one, well, it's not toddy and it's not Todd. It's something brand new. For now, we're just going to call it long, short, short. Listen. Toddy, long, short, short, toddy, ta. It's tough to say. Try it with me. Toddy, long, short, short, toddy, ta. Can you sing it and keep a beat? Here we go. Toddy, long, short, short, toddy, ta. Can you sing it and clap the rhythms along with it? Toddy, long, short, short, toddy, ta. This time, just clap it and think. This time, don't even clap, just think. We have a brand new rhythm here, guys. A brand new rhythm. Three sounds on a beat, long, short, short. Don't forget that the next time you are riding a horse or doing anything else, really. It doesn't matter. Just don't forget it, okay? Trust me. You're going to need it for next time. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade. Now, we've been making so much music. I think it's time we actually, well, what if we listen to some music? I think that would be nice. It's good to listen to music, not just make it all the time. Although it was fun to make music, too, with your Falcon friends specifically. I have a piece of music today I think you're really going to enjoy. It's one that you are probably familiar with. You might not know who wrote it. You might not know the name of it, but I bet you've heard the music before. Let me give you some background information. This is a piece of music called the William Tell Overture, and it's by a composer named... Gioacchino Rossini. That's a very interesting name, Gioacchino Rossini. Gioacchino Rossini was not from the United States of America. He was actually from a different country. He was from the country of Italy. And in Italy, when Gioacchino Rossini was alive, one of the most popular types of music was opera. Opera. Now, you probably think you know what an opera is. You probably think it's some lady up there singing really loudly with the Viking helmet on and you know, you might be right, but I'm going to tell you a little bit more about an opera. An opera is actually, very simply, it's a story that's told through music. Now, maybe you've seen something like this. Disney Plus. Maybe you guys, if you have Disney Plus, maybe you've seen some advertisements for Hamilton. That's a musical. And guess what? Hamilton is kind of like an opera. It's telling a story through music. Musicals that we have today kind of come from operas, kind of like ones that Gioacchino Rossini wrote hundreds of years ago. The one that he wrote is called the, is about men named William Tell. And a very famous piece of music is called the William Tell Overture. Now the overture sets the theme. It sets the mood for the story. If you think about other music that kind of sets a mood, one thing I always think of, and not just because I'm a huge nerd, which <laughs> I am, Star Wars. Okay? I love Star Wars. Star Wars, I love not just the movies, I love the music. The music in Star Wars sets the mood. Think about Darth Vader. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Kind of sets that mood. It lets you know he's not a very good guy. We got the force theme. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum, bum. Right? The force. Oh, it fills you with desire. It fills you with making you feel like you can become something. Yes, it does. That's how I feel, at least. I want you to listen to the William Tell Overture. There's a, there's a link in the description below here. Can't believe I'm saying that. I'm like a real YouTube person. I don't know how I feel about that. But I want you to follow the link in the description below. There's a video to the William Tell Overture by Gioacchino Rossini. There's a fun little video that goes along with it. You can just sort of watch. But I want you to listen because this music will kind of set the mood, set the tone for what this story is going to be like, what this story about this man named William Tell is. Is he sad? Is he scared? Is he brave? How does this music make you feel? Think about it. Listen to it and see if you can feel like William Tell. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade, we've made music, we've listened to music. Let's write some music. Can we? Can we please write some music? That would be fun. Okay, so what you're going to need for this, piece of paper, ruler, something to write with. We're making a staff. Remember how we did this last week? We practiced it a little bit. We made marks. Put the ruler there along the edge. Make a mark at 
two, three, four, five, six. Then slide the ruler to the other end. Don't flip it, just slide it. Make another mark at two, three, four, five, six. And then all you do is connect those lines. Do that really quickly here. There's one, there's two, three, four, I got a little crooked, that's okay. And five. Five lines. You got a pretty good looking staff there. Good. Now we're gonna put some notes on our staff today. We're gonna move our notes around. We're gonna actually write something that you maybe learned about last year called a pentatonic scale. Can you say pentatonic scale? What is a pentatonic scale? A pentatonic scale reminds me of another word. Pentatonic reminds me of a shape. A pentagon. Maybe you've heard of a pentagon. I don't know. Have you heard of a pentagon? Hopefully, if you're in third grade, you should have heard of a pentagon. A pentagon doesn't have two sides, doesn't have three sides, doesn't have four sides. It actually is a five-sided shape. A pentagon has five sides. So a pentatonic scale, keeping that in mind, is a scale that has not one, not two, not three, not four, five different notes. Let's start with the first three. The first three we should know. Do, re, mi. Can you sing those three? Do, re, mi. How about our hand signs? Do, re, mi. Our three notes. Do, re, mi. Now they're in steps apart. They go straight up the step, up, up the scale. Okay. I'm going to show you where I want you to put them. First, do. We're going to put in the first space in between the first line and the second line. We're going to put do right there. Put a note and color it in. Perfect. Re is one step higher. So re is going to be higher than do but by one step. So to go up one step from a space, you go up to the line right above it. So now we're not on the first line, not the first space, we are on the second line. You gotta count, one, two. Make a note. Notice how the note has the line going right through it. And once you have that, you just gotta color it in. Do, re, mi. We need one more. Mi is another step higher. So where are we gonna put mi? We're going to put it one step higher than the second line, which is the second space. Right there. And we color it in. And we've got our first three notes of our pentatonic scale, do, re, mi. Just like that. Very good. Our next note is a different one. It's so. Now, what's tricky about so is it's not a step higher. It's actually a skip higher. So and me are not a step apart, they're a skip apart. So we know how to go up by steps. We go from a space to a line to a space. To skip, we're gonna have to literally skip something. So we're in the second space for me. We're gonna have to skip the line above it and go to the next space. And that's where so is gonna go. It's gonna be in the one, two, three, third space. Notice that it looks higher than the other ones because it's not a step higher, it is a skip higher. Once you have it, color it in. Okay, we got four notes. We need one more to make our pentatonic scale because it's penta five. Our last one is do, re, mi, so, la. La is our highest one. And la is one step higher than so. So keeping in mind what we've just talked about, la would be where? Where would la be? It's one step higher than so. So if it's a step higher, and so is in this space right here, la is going to be on the line. Exactly. Which line? One, two, three, four, the fourth line. Make the note. Make sure the line goes right through the middle of it like that. And then color it in. And you have a beautiful looking pentatonic scale. Do, re, mi, so, la. Looks pretty good. Can I challenge you? Well, I can. Will you accept the challenge? I don't know, that's up to you. Here it is going from do, re, mi, so, la. Could you make another staff? And could you come the opposite way? Start on la and come down to do. La, so, mi, re, do. What would that look like? Use this as a guide and see if you can climb up the mountain and see if you can climb back down the mountain. Most importantly, have some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next time, grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct.
Drag your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear the bitter pet? And the happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with those blues on parade. Now I'm not afraid. This rover crossed over if I ever had a say.